Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise here, checking in with... Goodness! We're here with Tunchan, checking in at Jitensha Hiroba U. So this is one of the most massive bike shops here in the Nagoya area in Japan. And we're gonna be doing a bike shop tour today. I know you guys love seeing the bike shop tours here in Japan. So we're gonna go in and check it out. This place is famous for having a bunch of different folding bikes. And we just did a quick little scope inside and there are so many folding bikes in there. So many models that I've never seen before. And it's really interesting. Right on the outside here, we've got our rack area. So if you come here by bike, you can park your bike. I think some of these are also some of their demo bikes or some repair bikes as well. And this is located in Komaki City up in northern Nagoya, Japan. But anyway, let's go on and head in inside. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, if you want to see more bike shop videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and help us reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers for 2021. And if you're already subscribed, please don't forget to like the video. So here we go, we're walking inside and you can see this place has kind of got a warehouse kind of feeling to it. So it's got a massively tall ceiling and it just looks like an old school Japanese warehouse. And there are so many bikes in here. It's ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you everything. Just check out this wall. So we've got wall, we've got bikes over here. We've got bikes over here and we've got more bikes upstairs as well. This place is just loaded with bikes. So these are our cross bikes here. Tunshan's taking a look at some of these hybrid bikes and they're all categorized by the same type of bike So this is the the cross bike section. We've got a bunch of giant bikes here But they mix a whole bunch of different brands as well So we've got some felt bikes here and what do you guys think? How does this compare to the stock in your guys's country where you're watching from? So let us know in the comments where are you watching from and what are the bike shop stocks like in your country right now? We've got some Scott bikes here as well and on this side, we've got some more hybrid bikes. We've got some Fuji bikes, some Jameis bikes, some Bianchi bikes, and we've got some Rally bikes as well, as well as some Colnago, some, how do you pronounce this? Is this Gias? Gias. But anyway, we came over here. We wanted to see the folding bikes. Tung especially is really interested in folding bikes lately. So this is the folding bike area. Again, this place is famous for its folding bikes. We've got a bunch of Bruno bikes. These are the mini velo bikes. So let's check out some of the bikes right here. And there's so much cool stuff I wanna show you guys here. We've got some birdie bikes here. These are really crazy with the front fork here, the front fork suspension. That is, yeah, <laughs> a bit much I think, but it looks cool at least. And this is one of the, the new bikes that I saw back at Eurobike last year. It's cool to see these out in production, out in stock here in Japan. This is the Turn HSD P9. And I was supposed to be doing a review for them and demoing it here in Japan a couple months ago, but then the whole virus situation happened and that got canceled, unfortunately. But I would like to test one of these out one day. They seem like a really cool electric bike for doing groceries, doing daily tasks and stuff like that. It's got some nice big apple tires on here, some Schwalbees, and just looks like a beast of a bike. And there are a bunch of cool turn bikes here. By the way, Turn is one of my favorite folding bike companies. They're based in Taiwan. And yeah, I saw them at Eurobike last year for the first time. That's how I learned about them. Back then, I didn't know anything about folding bikes. And now, thanks to all your guys' comments and suggestions, I've been learning a lot about the, the folding bike world. So we've got some Turn bikes here. This is the Turn BYB. Is that a different type of BYB? P8. And these aren't too bad, about $1,300. For these ones but this is the one that really caught my eye this is kind of my dream folding bike right now because one of the reasons we want to get a folding bike is so we can do more touring we can do more adventure style rides and this bike just has it all this is the turn verge s81 and you're paying a pretty premium for this bike this is about twenty two hundred dollars but what you get on this bike is just awesome this has a belt drive system. It has a built-in rack. It of course folds down and up in the front, it's got a dynamic hub light. And I like this part of the stem where it's fully adjustable. You can raise it up, you can raise it forward, you can raise it down, you can adjust the angle to whatever feels most comfortable and you can change it. It's also got the, the bar ends for those long tour rides and built-in fenders, disc brakes, just like the ultimate adventure bike, the ultimate travel bike. 
<sighs> yeah, I really want one of these. Tung is more interested in the, the Bromptons though. <laughs> she, we just tested out a Brompton bike with her a few minutes ago. That was her first ever ride on a folding bike. And she really wants to get a folding bike as her next bike. Another one of the big brands here is Dahon. We've got a Dahon bike here. This is the Dahon K3. And this one is pretty reasonable, about $800. And these wheels are just crazy tiny. It makes these other small wheels here look big. <laughs> Some of the other interesting folding bikes here are the more road style turn bikes. These are the Turn Verge uh, P10 and X11. These are, this one's not too bad. This one's $1,300. This one is, $2,600 so you're but yeah look at what you're getting on this bike on a folding bike you're getting SRAM force <laughs> how insane is that that's got nicer components than I've got on my actual road bike but these are really cool disc road bike kind of folding bike setup so if you want to go for a nice endurance ride performance ride and not lose too much ability while you're going for that ride these look like a really good option but yeah I don't think they're gonna be great for if you need to carry like luggage or carry paneer bags or stuff like that. What I have in mind in the future is I'd like to do more touring rides, like carrying some big bags and bringing on our iPad so we can edit our videos on the way. So we need to carry a little bit more luggage. So those might not work for us. And what's this? This is a Strida. They've got that unique geometry. This is a Strida C1. And whoa, that is not a joke. This is a $5,000 bike. <laughs> uh, not in my budget for the folding bike that we're looking at, but there's a whole bunch of different variety here. Back on this wall, we've got some more mini velo style bikes. These are bikes with a smaller wheelbase, and these are really popular in Japan because they fit in your apartments a lot easier and you don't have to worry about space so much. What is this? This is a carry me. <laughs> Now that is an interesting name for this bike. Check out this cute little guy. How tiny are these wheels? That's insane. So yeah, lots of nice little surprises here and lots and lots of mini velo bikes. They're just really popular here. And we've also got some turn mini velo bikes as well on this side. Maybe another reason these are popular is because they're not too expensive. These are about $500 a piece and they look pretty cool. Especially these ones. I love these turn bikes with sort of like the blade down tube kind of style. It just feels sharp just right up here on the top part and they look really cool. So the million dollar question is where is the Brompton? That's the bike that my wife wants to see. Oh wow, what's this? This is a Tyrell. So if you see a really interesting unique gem in here and I missed some interesting point about it, let me know in the comments. Like I mentioned, I'm still learning about all this stuff. So I'd love to learn more about it. If you have anything interesting that we should know, please let us know in the comments. What is this? This is an Iruka. Iruka means like whale in Japanese. So this is the whale bike. Looks pretty interesting. Look at this tube. There's a hole right in the top of it. So when you're looking down, you can see the ground. You're not actually looking at the... <laughs> that is really interesting. We've got some more Tyrell bikes here. And here we are, we're in the London corner. This has got to be where the Bromptons are. But actually Brompton bikes are pretty much sold out in all of Japan right now. It's like impossible to get them. So we've got the double decker bus here. We've got some of their Brompton certifications and we've got some fancy saddles. So you know a Brompton is not too far away. We've got one tucked away down here. I'm guessing this is either a display bike or it's already sold on reservation because there are there's basically no Bromptons available. Oh, they got another shiny one here. This one still has its packaging, so it must be brand new. This has the nice shiny golden liquor color. This is really cool. My wife says she wants the, the red color. Ne akano ga hoshi ne. Koyu iro wa? Kore mo ii. Kore mo ii. Oh, kore mo kakko ii ne. Yeah, these more like anodized style colors. The darker anodized style colors are really cool from Brompton. Gordo, moto kakuyo. Ah, yeah. We went to the Osaka Wise Road Shop and we saw a gold colored Brompton. That was really cool. A lot of anodized gold on black. That was a really sick model. I'll leave a picture up here so you can see it. 
And what do we got here? We got some more birdies. Birdie Chan. It is so easy to get lost in here. Like it's difficult for me to walk in some parts. Just I'm glad we have the wide angled lens on here because just look at all these different parts and stuff. We've got some different bags, accessories, and geez, <laughs> we've got handlebars here. Moving in, some more saddlebags, some more accessories, and some Shimano parts. Geez, there's so much stuff in here. But anyway, you guys came here to see the bikes. Let's go look at some other bikes. Oh, we've got a one piece water bottle here. Wanted, dead or alive, Monkey D. Luffy. These are 1,000 yen, $10. That's pretty cool. Oh, what's this? A five links, five links two, one, six, five. Some of these names are really confusing. So I think there's still some more bikes over here. We didn't show you guys yet. These are some of the mountain bikes. We've got some more of the aero mini velo style here. These are the turn surge and this just looks like a really insane fast kind of bike. And it's only like $600. That's not bad. Single speed though, can't go wrong with the single speed. Low maintenance, easy to work with. And we've got some Rocky Mountain mountain bikes here. Like the paint job on these. We've got the primary colors, red, blue, and green. And over here, we've got some more. Well, these are sort of step through with built-in rack Bruno bikes. These are also good for grocery shopping, going around the city. How much are these? These are about 700. $80. And what is this? Check out these tires. These massive tires, or should I say tiny massive tires. The tire is barely bigger than the rotor. <laughs> what is this? A Pecco. Pecco OX bikes. Let's get a nice side angle of this bike here. Interesting. And over here we've got our gravel corner. These bikes are so like compact together. It's difficult for me to show you them. Oh, this one looks nice though. This is a, a Breezer Radar Cafe. That's only a little bit less than a thousand dollars and you got a nice gravel bike. Looks like a good commuter. We've also got some track bikes, some pisto bikes, fixed gear. What's this? This is a cool mint bipod. Really tiny wheels on some of these bikes though. And some GT mountain bikes. Some Yotsuba Saikuru. These are a really popular kids bike maker here in Japan. And oh, this is Tokyo Bike. These are also pretty popular recently. And let's go upstairs, check it out. This is really cool. They just made this all out of wood. So we're trying to visit all these different shops as well to get some ideas. Eventually I'd like to have my own bike shop of my own. And it's really fun to visit all these shops, get different ideas on what works. And here we go. We got a wall of some fancy wheels, some carbon wheels, some race bikes, road bikes. And these are all Scott's, Scott Addict. Very cool. Giant TCR. And I didn't show you yet, but check out the view from up top here. Look at all these bikes. Jeez. And there's still the other side. <laughs> so we've still got a bunch of bikes up here. This is a McLaren bike from Merida. Not too bad. We've got our Bianchi bikes, of course. And oh, we got another one of these whale bikes up here with the interesting top tube that you can see through. And this one folds down. That's cool. So the rear wheel folds down like that. And look at, they've got some like arrow covers around the <laughs> rear of the wheel. It's interesting. And what's, oh, is this a yellow Schwinn? This is a yellow Schwinn. What is this? The Stingray Lemon Peeler. This is about $600. And if you are a fan of my channel, you know I love yellow Schwinns. I've got a yellow Schwinn Madison bike and I ride it every day. This is sick. Unfortunately, the lighting is pretty bad in here. Um, it looks fine if you're here in person, but 
for filming a video, they don't have very great lighting because uh, yeah, we're basically in a warehouse, but that's really cool. Unfortunately, the yellow isn't showing up, but look at that seat. Look at that crazy seat. Koyu Jitensho Ado. Yeah, she's asking, why do we need this big saddle? What are you going to do with all that length? Come <laughs> on. Ah, maybe that's it. Is that it? Anybody know the reason why these saddles are so long? Let us know down in the comments, please. And oh, we missed this when we first came up. Look at this little stationary. Is this for fitting so you can get the exact size that you want to go to? Maybe this is an old school fitting sand. This is from Panasonic. Panasonic fitting scale. So Panasonic also makes custom bikes here in Japan as well. Interesting. Check this out. And we've got more road bikes up here. We had some BMC road bikes here. Some Orbeas, Lapierre, Cura. Some Conago, and then some other random bikes over here. Nice zips. And starting to make our way back. Check out this. Right on the back wall, this says Kaze to Asobu. It means play with the wind. That's a beautiful painting. Nice message up there. Actually, the name of the shop, Jitencha Hiroba. Hiroba means like, uh, kind of like meeting place or big place. It can have a couple different meanings. This is basically a gathering place of bicycles. And then the U character means to play or to have fun. So they really have that built in with the name of their company. That's really cool. And I love this wooden stairs. This is too cool. And just wherever you go, you're just surrounded by bikes. Bikes, 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 lots of bikes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed seeing the tour of this shop. We had a fun time exploring all these different folding bikes. Let us know in the comments which bike was your favorite. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. We make videos here every week about cycling, life in Japan, and we sometimes make bike shop tours like this. Thanks again to all of our supporters on Patreon who helped make these videos possible. And we'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.